Today we are going to walk through the setup process for the cable utility app. Cable is always turned on, so connecting your sensors is a lot easier. Open the cable utility app and move it close to cable to connect it. Once connected, go to the menu and select Scan Ant Plus Sensors. Always be activating your sensors during the setup process. Today we're going to select the HR, FEC, and Cadence. Then select Save Sensors when you're done. After the selected ant sensors are saved, in the Assignments tab, you need to select your Bluetooth services. We're going to checkmark FTMS and highlight the Cadence, FEC, and then checkmark the HRS for the heart rate service, then select Save Assignments. Once the assignments are saved, go to the BLE tab and see the output data. Here you can see the heart rate, power, and cadence. At this point, your cable should be flashing green once per second to show that the sensors are tracking. If you want to make two sensor sets, you can now add the second one by going to the menu and selecting Change Sensor Sets, and starting the whole process over with your second set. Your cable will indicate that it is in Sensor Set 2 by flashing green twice per second. Changing your Bluetooth name is especially helpful in group fitness where there are multiple people using cable. The Bluetooth name is displayed in the fitness app when searching for your sensors. To change the Bluetooth name, go to the menu and select Change Bluetooth Name. Each name is limited to five characters. Today we're going to change the Bluetooth name to NPE, select Save, and Wait. Now we can move to Zwift. To completely close the Cable Utility app, doing so cancels the Bluetooth service so that it is available in Zwift to connect. In Zwift, select Power Source, your cadence and heart rate. Notice that your cable's Bluetooth now says NPE and that's how you know which to select. After you are done with that, start your ride.